And we are talking now about empowering girls in ICT. And, you know, there are so many different things um, with respect to ICT technology. Um, and girls are really getting more involved in it. And it's really a great thing to see, you know, where it was more male dominated. Um, there have always been girls interested in that type of thing. If, even if it's just like fixing up a computer, twiddling with this, that, or the other. And they're pretty good at it. But to tell us more about it this morning, uh, as we do in fact have uh, the International Girls in ICT Day, which is actually going to be April 27th, is uh, Kondwani Applewhite. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. And he is the representative of Consult Us, who is a local partner that's working on this project. So good morning to you. Good morning. Now, empowering opportunity for Caribbean girls in ICT and it's from innovation to impact. Tell us about this. Well basically um, International Girls in ICT Day is an initiative led by the International Telecommunications Union. Right? Um, the aim is actually to, um, to basically create a, a global environment which encourages, educates and empowers girls and young women to pursue a career in the ICT industry, right? Um, over the past six years, about, over 240,000 girls and young women have taken part in um, across 160 different countries. So what we're basically doing in celebration of, into, um, in celebration of ICT Day, um, we are hosting a one day, a regional one day hackathon. Um, and this is happening on April 27th. Right? And it's called a hackathon. It's called a hackathon, all right? You're gonna have um, we have Jamaica involved, we have Barbados involved, and Trinidad in involved, right? So I just want to ask, day. why hackathon? I mean, I can, I can, you know, guess as to why, but tell us why hackathon. Your guess is just as good, <laughs> 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 right? Um, because it's going to be, everything is going to be um, technically live, mm -hmm. okay? It's all happening at the same time. So, so what we're going to do is that the, the, we have, the, how do you say We have five schools, okay. right, involved here in Trinidad, okay? We have UTT, we have SBCS, we also have um, Northeastern, Chagonas, um, North Secondary, and North Secondary, for you know, everything, Convent, right? We have Holiday and Colorado, Custard, all of involved, and of course, uh, we have schools also happening in, in Barbados and, and mm -hmm. um, Jamaica, right? So what they're going to do is they're basically going to break break up into teams, right? And the aim is, well, the mission is for them to actually solve problems using ICT, Ooh. right? And so we're going to have international and local mentors also guiding them throughout the course of the day. Ooh. Yeah, if, uh, exciting. So <laughs> it is a literal hackathon. It so they're given hackathon. all these problems, yes. which they basically have to solve. On the spot. <laughs> wow. How is this? I mean, okay, this has to do with information technology. Yes, it yes. has to do with uh, all these devices that link information together. So it's will probably be the obvious question. How is everything going to get linked? Because you say it's different countries that are taking right. part as well. How is that link taking place? The right. ICT link. We, we, we are utilizing technology, right? <laughs> all right. Um, so basically what we're going to do is um, we have an element of live streaming. It's going to take place. Um, in some areas, what we're going to do is um, our technical team here is actually going to record stuff. We're going to actually upload um, basically into a mm -hmm. server. Um, in Jamaica, we're gonna, they, they're going to actually line everything together, and then we're going to shoot it re regional, right? Of course, internet is going to mm -hmm. help, you know, the, the base of everything. And yeah. Maybe. Who's actually going to be privy to this actual hackathon? the regional one-day hackathon. Who can tune in? How can we look at it? How can we get a, be a part of it? Right. Um, well, the event itself is open. It's, it's, it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, it happens at, at a query, um, in the Innovation Center in mm -hmm. Freeport. Um, it's free. You're welcome to definitely come and attend. I'm encouraging all of you to actually come and, and support the, um, this project. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, we also going to have a lot of information and updates which we're going to use via social media um, Instagram Facebook right and is and if you want additional information you can also mm -hmm. you know provide the email and contact number is there an age limit because you're using girls from high schools colleges and universities across Jamaica Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago so is there an age limit at all for this? I would say there's an age limit right of course with this project um, we targeted schools 
based on um, just before you know you, you kind of decide what career you want to go, mm -hmm. go into but you know there are also people who desire a, a career change or you know or want to know because there has been a male dominant mm -hmm. industry right so I wouldn't say there's an age limit ac across board so anyone could actually attend um, but we did work within our age um, boundaries for the event. Okay. How do you find girls are taking to ICT nowadays, especially, you know, things are changing, you know, they want women. We want women equality, right. which is nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Wrong with that. Um, <laughs> so, so how do you find girls are taking to this? And, and do you think that that barrier is still there? It's, uh, um, I would say the barrier is still there slightly, but it's due to sometimes I would say even the lack of information. Um, but it is a, a fantastic interest by females in the whole ICT sector. I think they've always been. Uh, it's just that, you know, women felt that they were suppressed yeah. because men thought that this is our job and we can do it better than you <laughs> can. So even though the, the desire was there, the drive was there, you know, women would be a little bit, I mean, there were the brave ones right. who would forge ahead. Right. But then the other ones who would say, well, you know, maybe they have a point. Ah, maybe. <laughs> it's different now. <laughs> Significantly. It's different now. Significantly. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's, it's um, we're seeing that there's so many, I think I was trying to remember the stats, uh, give me all the information. The stats where the amount, I think we had, it was, what was it? Forgive me, I can't remember the, the term, okay, but yeah. there's a number of, um, mm -hmm. it was the stats I'm trying to remember how much people actually, women, uh -huh. actually operating within the industry right now, and it's, um has grown significantly, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then what you're also seeing is that based on the institutions, educational institutions, you're seeing the increase of females also taking up the, the different programs, you know, programming, animation, mm -hmm. um, mobile app development, um, digital arts design. So it's definitely, and, and even the within the sector, it has actually widened tremendously. So it's, it's actually even in attracting more and more females into the mm -hmm. industry. And they do just as well, don't they? I would say they do fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually taking place on the 27th of April uh, across the islands, basically, Jamaica, Barbados, and Trinidad and, and Trinidad. Tobago, in celebration of Girls in ICT Day. How long uh, has this day been around, Girls in ICT Day? Um, Girls in ICT Day, basically, it was 2008, right? Um, when it was first launched. Um, yeah, so it was, if I'm right, no, I stand corrected. Yeah, it was 2011, April 8, 2011. Um, and well, so this year actually marked the seventh year. Mm. Um, I was trying to get the things of it. It was 7,200 celebrations have taken in Giza ICT Day over 160 countries. That's mm. the thing I was trying to remember just now. Okay. Um, so this year, as if we say, we're actually doing a hackathon. Okay, um, among the three countries, but it's it's the I, the ITU department. So it's actually an initiative also supported by the United Nations, mm -hmm. the UN, um, and this has been going on, as I said, from 2011 uh, mm -hmm. to date. So, what has it been? Uh, what has been done in the past since it started? Okay, in the past they have had um, different programs. They say Nifty, um, they have they've had different programs in different countries, right? And they all they're all basically working. Most of them create challenges mm -hmm. where they have the students, different areas, and they use a similar s format to, how do you put it, let's do problem solving. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Um, but they do, what, what they try to do is always attract the, of course, the educational side of it, right? And then we also, you attract the, the, the participants from mm -hmm. different areas, yeah. right? Uh, and then for the, it's a, it's a significantly just, you know, more or less promote the industry and, and, yeah. and the art form. I know uh, it, was, I, it was last week or maybe a couple of weeks ago when we did have a representative from the UN come to talk about oh, this. Oh, fine, yes. yes, and starting programs to get women more involved in ICT and pushing women more into involvement into ICT. So she was here actually with a program that's said, yeah, that's oh. it. They're looking into that as well. Promoting it. Yep, to promote uh, women in ICT. Fantastic. So is there a similar thing um, with men with this, by chance? Or is it just, we're just special? You're <laughs> special. <laughs> well, as you know, it's, it's a really it's dominated. It's actually to promote, yes. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it didn't really, I wouldn't say it didn't make sense, but yeah. you know, it was 
more or less along the line. Yeah. You know, uh, so something I wanted to even share with you that when the there was an estimated there was an estimated shortfall of over two million skilled ICT professionals um, worldwide, mm. right? And the ICT sector, be it not just growing, we have found that companies have been looking in um, specifically to hire a number of women in the sector, yes. right? Um, that's part of the UN uh, and that's plan. That's part and of yes, the UN yes. plan, right? So it's, you know, basically everybody who has their, you know, their project and their drive in terms of making mm -hmm. this happen is all supporting the whole yeah. overall cause. All right. Can you just give an idea of some of the questions? I'm curious because I'm not that, you know, tech savvy when it comes to ICT things, but I do have an interest in it. Interest in it, I like do. <laughs> so like what sort of questions will be asked? So I just, let me see, let me see how good I can or not be. <laughs> well, hmm. I share this information now because you have not, not, <laughs> uh, not an actual question. Not an actual. Well, one. basically, in some cases, like what we're going to look at, right? We're going to look at, let's say, processes, processes, and in, in, I'll give you in a nutshell. So they're going to give you a, a case study in which you have to come up with a uh, ICT solution. Okay. Okay. Um, um, so we're going to take it from, let's, let's say, basic. Okay, let me use mobile app, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at, okay, ways into which to create a mobile app, okay. right? So we look at the design element, the, uh, the, okay, of course, the yeah. information mm -hmm. element, right? Um, and then of, yeah, the application mm -hmm. element. So it's not going to be just like one one thing, but it's going to, okay, right? It's different In things. terms of even animating, likewise. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Oh, I love this because I, I have I have a tendency, you know, I, I need to, if there's a problem, right. I need to solve. You need to solve it. I need to solve it. <laughs> and I'm going to do everything to solve, to solve that it before I do well, anything you else. Yeah. So well, you should make an attempt on come, come to I probably <laughs> should. Thank you though very much for coming Definitely. and telling us all about this. It is of course International Girls in ICT Day. It's April twenty seventh. And you heard about the hackathon that's going to be taking place. Thank you so much, Kondwani Applewhy, the representative for Consult Us, who's a local partner on the project. Thank you. Go girls. You know